Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday. I haven't talked to y'all yet. I had a massive migraine, like the worst one that I've had in I don't know how long. And so I had to sleep that off and then I went to my granny's and I brought her that pumpkin and this cute little um, pumpkin candles that I think I showed a clip of. And now it's like five o'clock. I just went and picked up Mexican for dinner and I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm starving. Um, cause I didn't eat much cause whenever I get migraines, I just, I'm not hungry. So I barely eat it today. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Um, I don't know if I said this, if you're new here, my name is Madison. I hate when I don't introduce myself at the beginning of my videos. Like it's a pet peeve. Um, so if I, <laughs> if I didn't say my name, I'm Madison. Welcome to the vlog. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go home watch some Netflix while I eat get my dog out of her crate because she is I know she's ready to come out and that's kind of what we have going on and then I need to take my nail polish off because I have ripped it off with my fingernails um and I also need to upload a video because I didn't get around to that because I had so many plans I was supposed to go to physical therapy then go to my granny's and then come home and work on um, my video but the migraine just wiped me out. I didn't get to go to physical therapy. I didn't make it to my granny's until like two hours after I was supposed to. And then I was there for like an hour and a half and then I went and got food. So, anyway. It's no secret. All my friends already know. There's no reason. So, it is Wednesday and I did not vlog yesterday because I went to the doctor and it was just kind of very upsetting. I got my brain MRI results back and they did find something, but they don't know what it is. Um, so I just felt like I needed to give myself the day to um, just kind of process that. But it's Wednesday now and I am trying to just keep going and not be too worried. I'm about to edit my decorate with me video and move the vlog that I, I got a couple of vlogs, so yeah. Just kind of keeping it cozy. I'm very tired from yesterday. It was very stressful. But we did go to Target and Home Goods to try to make myself feel better. A little retail therapy. And I did buy some cute clothes that I want to share with y'all. So I'll do a little haul later. Maybe a try on haul. Um, because they're really cute. And I've been getting into more like modest fashion. Um, it's something that... Has really been laid on my heart that I need to be more aware of so I got some cute stuff and I will show you later but first I'm gonna edit this video it's Thursday I just woke up ignore my hair and I updated my medicine list and I did not tell y'all but I got an appointment with the neurologist no not neurologist neurosurgeon for my brain um they were able to get me in today so i'm about to get ready and we're gonna head there so anyways i will talk to you after that but i'm nervous but excited they could go ahead and get me in so anyways i will look better after i get ready because this is not not it It's Friday. Let's do a little car chat. I just got done with physical therapy, but I had an indoor one. So I didn't talk to y'all again yesterday. I went to the neurosurgeon and they looked at my scans and they said that there's nothing they can do for me, which is good because that means I don't have to get surgery, which is a very exciting thing. But I do have to get a workout for MS, which originally my primary care doctor suspected MS, but then they did a brain without contrast at a neurologist and nothing showed up. And then they were like, okay, well, um, you don't have MS because nothing showed up. But then I got the MRI with contrast and there was a small lesion. So they are referring me out to a big medical hospital to get a consult with an MS neurologist. And I feel <laughs> I. I'm very emotional about it and I'm trying to stay in good spirits but I am 
emotional about it and usually I've been I've been doing okay but anyways um it wasn't something I was expecting because I thought we had ruled it out so that's why I just feel a little blindsided and as much as I don't want surgery I was hoping oh maybe it's a quick you know little surgery and not that I guess any brain or spine surgery is quick or easy but um I thought that was just maybe gonna be the fix for it but it's not so um I will be going up to I guess Atlanta to get an MS consult and I'm gonna get a full workup and uh, if it's not MS it's great but then we will still have a lot of questions of what it could be because I do have spots um, lesions stuff that they just don't know what it is so anyways that's the other day I did not talk to y'all yesterday after because honestly I was so emotional and wreck very nervous um, and yeah so that's the update. I like to keep it real here with y'all, so I wanted to tell y'all that. But anyways, now I'm about to head home and either edit the video or do my nails. I really need to do my nails. Um, I also signed up for um, a consult because I really want to join my physical therapy center, their pool, so I can work out and stuff. And so I talked to them about that today, so that's very exciting. And that's kind of what's been going on. Sorry if I seem a little out of it. Um, I'm just doing my best right now. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So anyways, thanks guys for letting me have a little rant conversation here. I promise the content's gonna get better and more upbeat. <laughs> Back home, I'm gonna do my nails now. I got a new nail lamp because I found out the one that I was using doesn't have this reflective bottom. And apparently that's important if you don't wanna get <laughs> a gel allergy so anyways there was a lot to that and then I got freaked out so I bought a new one and I also bought this little brush to clean up around my cuticles before I cure them so let's go ahead and get started I have no idea what color I'm gonna put on today I'll show you in a minute when I figure it out though. okay finished my nails I went with this cute little cream color and then I put a tiny little uh, mushroom on it so now I'm gonna clean up this area but feels so nice to have my nails done again and I really love this lamp um, it worked really well so yeah also this brush was so helpful and I'm in love and now I feel like I can go about my day and feel somewhat put together okay so I promised y'all a haul from Target and this is a modest fashion haul I don't know if I mentioned that before but I'm trying to get into more modest fashion because I feel like that's what's right for me. So I picked up some really cute stuff, like affordable stuff from Target um, because I had nothing like this. I either had dresses or t-shirts or shirts I just don't really want to wear anymore. So let's get started because I'm really excited. So starting off, I got this super cute little like taupey brown bodysuit, long sleeve, but it is like thin and it's super comfortable. And then I'm going to show you all these jeans because these are the jeans I'm going to use for the rest of the try-on that I did buy from Target on the same day. It's these super cute little high-waisted jeans and they have like little embroidered flowers on them. Guys, I've never loved a pair of jeans more than this. And they're so comfortable and I don't like jeans. So, that's the first two things. Apparently I am in my bodysuit era because I also bought this bodysuit and it literally looks just like a t-shirt but what I love about it is they have it where it kind of cinch is so it gives you that tucked in look without you having to actually tuck in your shirt which is super nice and I really like it. It's a very soft material. It is a like a thong. <laughs> Um, bodysuit, so if that's not really your thing, you probably won't like this one, but it's still super cute to me. Next, I got this little brown shirt that has kind of, I guess, like half sleeves, and has a little, like, mock neck, turtleneck type of thing. I will tuck it in for y'all, but it's the prettiest chocolate brown. If you have followed me last year, you probably know I love chocolate brown, which is hilarious because my mom loves chocolate brown and I used to be like, oh, I'd never love chocolate brown. And then I, like mother, like daughter, I guess. So hold on, I'll tuck it in so y'all can see it. So here it is tucked in. I love this because you can really have those fall vibes without having to sweat. Cause if you're like me and you live in Georgia, it's still very hot out, but 
very thin too it's super cute it'd be a great layering piece too once it does get colder next i got this cute little cropped little sweater shirt top it is the softest material and i love this color i actually saw it online and i did not like how it looked but i just decided to pick it up in store and i ended up getting it i think it's really cute i'd love to pair it with like like a maxi skirt and boots maybe i feel like that could be a look i don't know but it's the softest material and it's a really good transitional piece now this last one's kind of out of my comfort zone because i never get tops like these but i got this really cute ruched top um i never get anything with ruching i honestly don't find it that comfortable but i just thought this was so cute that i really couldn't pass it up it has like a little floral print but it's like all the fall colors like i love it i do i do this is not fashion related but some other things that i got from target i got this covergirl lash blast primer i've never had a primer for my eye, eye eyelids eyelashes but so far I've been trying it and I really like it and then I got the cover girl exhibition I don't even know stretch and strengthen mascara and I'm um, really loving that and then I got this Neutrogena hydro boost hydrating lip shine in the shade almond nude which is 27 and this is such a fun fall color I also guys it's, I've been in a crisis I got um this rose perfume, like hair perfume spray for the days that I don't wash my hair because I'm trying not to wash my hair every day and it smells really good. It smells like a legit rose. And then I got clear brow, clear brow and lash mascara um, from like e.l.f. because sometimes I don't want to wear mascara. So I'll like, I'm going to like curl my lashes and then I'll put this on to hold it. But that is what I got from Target. So, anyways, um, yeah, I guess I need to put all this stuff away. It's just been kind of sitting out on my bed, just waiting for me to show y'all. Mm -hmm.